<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Smart Martha with another Catholic Mom Hack. And today we're going to talk about the Stations of the Cross. Now, if you're anything like me, you find it challenging to get to the Stations of the Cross at your parish. It seems by Friday evening, I'm the spent from the week, or we've got activities, basketball games or something, and we can never get to the ones at our parish, or we'll get to them occasionally. But I just want to demonstrate today that you can also have a very meaningful Stations of the Cross at home with your family. And it doesn't have to be long or extravagant or anything super fancy. Just a real simple but still very meaningful way that you can do it at home. And we particularly like to do this on Good Friday. Um, it's a, just a nice activity that helps you remember what you know Good Friday is all about because that is the day that Jesus carries his cross and is crucified on the cross. So if you're looking for something to do meaningfully for Good Friday, I do recommend doing the Stations of the Cross. You know, do them at your parish by all means. But if, um, if you have little ones and you can't get out or you want them to experience the Stations of the Cross at home, this is something you can do with your whole family. From really young age to, you know, your teenagers to, to anyone who's in your home at that time. Now, if you notice, I've got candles lit here, and it seems whenever you use candles, that makes everything so more dramatic or special, and it really helps keep the young one's attentions, too. Now, if you do this in the evening when it gets to be dark out, it also sends just this really um, certain mood or message that as we go through the stations, we are um, extinguishing the lights. So... Um, as you get to your last station and the light goes out, the room is darker. So as you're going through the stations of the cross, the room is getting darker. So I recommend doing it that way. Um, just it's very prayerful and very um, meditative that way. Now for, for kids, I like using the kids' stations of the cross books for kids. I've always liked you know, this particular one. And you can get these for just like a couple dollars at most Catholic bookstores. The one by um, Father Lavasic, and they're the, the St. Joseph picture books, and there's a whole series of books. But I think I like their Stations of the Cross. I also, um, as you want to stop for a minute, we, you can also get so many resources online. I just looked up Stations of the Cross coloring pages, and... We got found this own little booklet online. It doesn't have anything that you say in it, but it's just got the pictures that you can color. Um, so if you have little ones that are antsy, you know they can maybe color as you're as you're as you're praying the stations together as a family. There are many other stations of the cross books that you can use out there for both children and for adults. Um, some have beautiful artwork in them. Some have more realistic pictures. So that's up to you what you want to use with your children. So look out there and, and see what resources are available. Also, to not if you don't want to use the candles, they do have some Stations of the Cross that are online. Look on YouTube and you could follow along with some beautiful Stations of the Cross while they play music, give meditations, and show some, some pictures as well that, that work really well to do those with your family too. So basically, when you use the candles with your kids, and I'm going to read to you from the book of the, from the St. Joseph's picture book collection, and we happen to be on the fifth station now. <clears throat> and so I'll just announce it, and if you've got kids who are readers, of course, they can take turns reading the different stations. There's so many different ways you can do that, but I think you'll like how easy it is to use the candles and like I said I just use simple tea lights for this if you had you know because you need 14 so you need a lot but you could even buy a little boat of candles too and use those so we're on the fifth station and the leader always says we adore you O Christ and we praise you and then everybody says because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world are you going to say that no all right Simon helps Jesus carry his cross Jesus, the men make Simon help you to carry your heavy cross because you are very tired. I want to help you carry the cross by saying, Jesus, all for you, when I have something hard to bear. You told me to carry my cross that I may be like you. I want to walk after you each day with my cross on my shoulder to show how much I love you. 
Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on me. And then we put the candle out. That's good. And then we are ready for the sixth station. So that's how we do the stations of the cross when we do it with our family. Um, but you don't have to do it um, just during Lent. You don't have to do it on Fridays. You can do the stations of the cross anytime that you like. They're a beautiful devotion to help us, you know, go into the passion of Christ and really meditate on what Christ has has done for us, and a good way for the family to reflect on that and to be truly thankful for Jesus coming and giving up his life to us in that way. So thank you for being with us. <laughs>